Good morning, and welcome back to Daily Dhamma, a letter to our children. Today is July 22nd, and our reading is Wissiwig. What you see is what you get. We see what we want to see and hear what we want to hear. Ditto for feelings and thoughts. We create a narrative and then go at it, hammer and tongs, to make it come true. Whatever we pay attention to becomes the most important thing in our world at that moment. We string those moments together and shazam, we get exactly what we're looking for. Obsessions are an attempt to manipulate and control life. Acceptance is living life on life's terms. Gratitude is the antidote to self-pity. If what we see is what we get, we should try looking for good things instead of the crap we usually seek. Boy, ain't that the truth. Again, with the self-talk and the automatic negative thoughts and the I'm not good enough, I don't, I'm, we are not worthy, <laughs> all, all that kind of stuff. You know, since we spend so much time living in our head, you'd think we'd furnish it better. Why don't we furnish it with happy thoughts? Why don't we furnish it with love and, and, and respect for the people around us? instead of with all of this negative junk that, that seems to be so common. And, and it's not always like that, but, it, but when we have problems, that's where the problems come from. It comes from that negative turn of mind that, that does not do us any favor, and it doesn't do any favors for anybody around us either. We do have a choice what we pay attention to our our attention is like a grow light and when we see hideous things and self-loathing and and bad stuff all the time that's what we see that's all we can see out to the horizon and when we turn our mind to the things that we are grateful for in our life and for the the loved ones and that we've been blessed with and all of the many blessings in our life lo and behold things really look beautiful and what has changed well nothing on the outside just on the inside our attitude of gratitude is really a gift from God please check the description box for the table of contents of the book daily Dhamma a letter to our children that's available on Amazon there are also the 10 playlists for this channel and you can take a look at those they might help you figure out what we're trying to do here and happy trails to you until we meet again.